Welcome to Graphic Island Tutorial. Today we'll create print ready business card design. So let's create it. Go to File, New and change the SI unit to inches. Inches is the standard unit for the business card. Now here give the standard resolution for the business card in width give 3.5 inches and in height give 2 inches and from the advanced option here change the color mode to printing color that is cmyk color and for raster resolution you can choose 150 and click on create we are done with the page setup the boundary or the outline of this artboard is considered as the trim line or in other words you can say is the cutting line of the business card now from the toolbar take this rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle and fill the complete artboard remove the outline of the shape take rectangular tool once again and here add 0.25 to the standard resolution of the business card so this 0.25 we are adding extra this will form the bleeding area bleeding area is nothing but the extra portion of the business card align horizontally and vertically center you can change the color also and send this one to the back now take rectangular tool once again and here from the standard resolution of the business card subtract 0.25 inches from the width and the height and create the safe area for the business card so the reason behind creating the safe area when you are going to printing your designs can be manipulated so within the safe area we'll try to keep all our necessary information so that nothing can be cut off from the business card here is the total resolutions we have given for bleeding area, printing area and the safe zone. Printing area boundary line is known as cutoff line or the trim line. Now let's design the business card. Take pen tool and here draw a curve. Take direct selection tool, select this point and drag it. Remove the fill color and give a outline color change the outline color to black using the pen tool here draw another curve now drag it using alt can make a duplicate and place it here and make a little rotation take scissor tool and cut the curve at some point and delete the lower portion take pen tool and from here continue the curve and create a shape draw another curve here using the pen tool take this new curve towards right hand side and here draw another curve now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle remove the outline and give a fill color and bring it little down now select the rectangular shape go to offset path offset path and here give some negative offset and change the color of the offset now remove the fill color of the safe zone and give a outline Select them all using shift key to unselect of the safe zone. Take shape builder tool. Pick a color from here and create shapes. Delete shapes using alt key outline of the bleed zone. Select the unnecessary lines and delete them. Now do multiple selection of the shapes using shift key and remove the outline. Delete the unnecessary shapes within the business card. Let's take a visible color for the safe zone. Now select the shape and change the color.
Similarly, keep changing color for the other shapes as well. Now let's import QR code to the business card. Simply drag and drop. Drag it down using Shift Alt key and make the size smaller and place within the safe zone. And edit the QR code and change the color. Let's import logo to our design. Change the color to white, drag it down and make the size smaller and place it within the safe zone. Change the color to red so that it can match up with the business card design color. Using text tool here write the company name and change the color to white and bring it here. Drag it down and make the size smaller. Place the logo within the safe zone. And here write the slogan or the tagline of the company. Let's make this font little italic. And for the tagline, let's increase the space between the text. Drag the text using Alt key and make a duplicate. Here write the name of the person. Down right the position. Now let's import some details icons from here. So you as a graphic designer, you need to have this kind of backup design with you. Drag it down and make the size smaller. And here draw a rectangle. Do copy paste. Drag it outside using Shift Alt key. Remove the fill color, give outline color. Let's make the icon little smaller in size so that it can fit within the shape. And change the color to white. Select it. Drag it using Alt can make a duplicate. Press Ctrl D and repeat it. Now delete those icons. Change the icon color to white and place within the shape. Now change the color to red. Let's increase the gap between the icons. Now select them and bring it here. Drag it down and make the size smaller and place it within the safe zone. Now it is perfect. Here enter your contact details. Using pen tool here draw a straight line, increase the stroke, change the color. Now drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate, Ctrl D and repeat it. Let's change the color to pure white. Our design is ready now. Let's save it. File export save for web. Increase the resolution from here. Fit on the screen and save it. Now let's save the design on the vector file format. From here you can choose any of the vector files. Uh, here I am choosing PDF. After saving this, open the mockup file in Photoshop and the design. Now drag our design to the new tab of the mockup and leave it here. Let's zoom out and drag it down using shift key and make the size smaller. By following cutoff line, place the design exactly within the shape. This is how your design is placed for the printing. Close the tab, yes, and wait for the mockup to be applied and here is the final result. Hope you understand the complete process of print ready business card design using Adobe Illustrator CC. And here I am Abul Mansur. Wish you all the best. See you next video. Have a nice day.